Rise and shine my blossom beauties, it is I, Rosemary Fortybush, and welcome to part 7 of my LGBT flags makeup series. So if you want to know how to get this asexual inspired look, just keep on watching. So first, I'm going to start with my hydrating primer by XX, wait, 0XX I think, if it was called. And I'm just going to rub that all over my face. Now I'm going to take my foundation and I'm going to put it on a beauty blender and I'm going to start by just donning it all over my face and, and neck as well and then I'll just start panning on them to start blending them in. Now I'm going to take my concealer, and as you can see, it's much lighter than my other one. It's because I, this, yeah, this is my first time using my light, my lighter concealer. And as you'll see later on, I'm going to, I'll use my um, brand new eye primer. So yeah, so I'm just gonna just um, put all over my face with um, little, like my bags and my nose and some strokes on my forehead as well as other spots on my face. And I'll just take my beauty blender and then blend it all in. Next, I'll get my powder foundation, my new one by BYS, and taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to swish that all over my face as the um, first um, setting powder. I don't know. I don't know if I actually should keep using powder foundation and then apply um, my actual setting powder on top of it, but I don't know. Then I'll get my translucent um, setting powder, and then just, same thing with the powder foundation, just swish it all over my face. And neck as well. Now I'm going to take my eye primer, so I'm just going to just put that on my eyelids, just like that. And then I'm going to get my beauty blender and then just blend them together. And then blend it in. Now I'm going to go into my eyeshadow. So, taking my BYS eyeshadow palette and taking that black shade, I'm going to cut my crease as well as apply it slightly outside the region as the first colour. Next I'll take that um, other black colour and I'll just blend that with the other black. Next I'll take my blending brush and then just apply that all over the eyeshadow to make it more of a fade. Next I'm going to go into that dark grey colour. I'm going to apply that to the very outer section of my eyelid, as well as blending it with the two other shades of black. Now I'm going to go into that um, metallic grey colour, and now I'm going to apply that there as well, next to the other shades. Then I'm going to go into that lighter metallic grey, and apply that close off to the um, middle of my eyelid. Then I'll take that white metallic shade, and then apply that in the direct middle of my face, in the eyes. Then get my blending brush and then just blend the 
outer crease. Now I'm going to go into my Pure Imagination palette and taking that white shade, I'm going to apply that to closer towards the inner corner. Now I'm going to go into my Lovelyn palette and taking that matte purple color, I'm going to blend that with the white um, shade. Apply that closer to the inner corner. Then taking my smaller brush, I'm going to take that metallic purple shade and blend that with the matte purple. As well as sort of connecting it to the metallic silver and white eyeshadows. Then I'll take that same matte purple color again and just um, add more towards the other shades. Then I'll take that um, iridescent purple color and apply that directly into the um, inner corners. And then getting my blending brush and taking that same um, iridescent color, just applying more to it. Oh, excuse me. Then I'm going to take my um, metallic purple shade and blend that with the blacks out in the outer corners of my eyes and just sort of um, add more dimension to it. Sort of like draw it under to like the, uh, the third of my eye. Now I'm going to go into my Jupe, my Well Hello 2 palette by Jupe's Place. And I'm going to take that um, glittery purple shade and apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. And then blend that out with a blending brush. Now I'm going into my eyeliner. So I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil and I'm going to use that to underline my lower lash line. Then I'll get my eyeliner pen. And I'll start drawing the wing on the sides of my eyes, and then once I've got the point long enough, I'll then drag the, at a different angle, down to my eyelid so it kind of creates a wing. Next, I'm going to go back into my metallic palette and taking that black shade, I'm going to use that to fill in my brows with an angled brush. Next I'll get my blending brush, and uh, as well as my blending beauty blender, and then just fan out the brows and the intersection. Now I'm going to go into my bron- my- yeah, my contour. So taking that and that angled brush, I'm going to do swoosh- that uh, no swooshing, what's the word? Back and forth motions on- all the way from the top of my ear down to my iris. For my blush, I'm going to go back into that matte part- that uh, matte color, and taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to pat on as well as swish all over my sides of my cheeks. Just that way I can apply it subtly and not do it too forcefully. Now I'm going to take my eyeliner, excuse me, Jesus, my eyelash curler. Yeah, I got a new eyelash curler as well. And that's right, once again, I forgot to do my mascara. But anyway, speaking of which, I'm applying it now. So I'm going to roll out the wand on top of my lashes. As you can see there, I smudged a bit of it on my face, but don't worry, I can clean it up. And um, for my lower lashes, I just put the wand on top and then just roll it out. So a little tip, if you ever do um, get mascara smudges anywhere on your face, just wait for it to dry. It should take like a few seconds or even a minute. And then you should be able to just um, wipe it off with a beauty blender. Next I'm going to take my highlighter, so I'm going to do swirling motions on the center of my nose, upward and downward strokes on the bridge of my nose, as well as do swirling motions on the apple of my cheeks, as well as the center of my chin. For my lipstick, I'm going to start using with this burgundy color, and I'm going to use that to fill in my lips, but we won't be exactly done with it just yet. Next, I'll take my metallic purple lipstick. I'm going to use that as apply it to the outer regions of my lower lip, so it kind of is like a little highlight. 
Then I'll get my one of my purple lip glosses from Juvie's Place and apply that on the lower lip as well, bottom lip. Then I'll get my setting spray as well as get my fan and then the look will be complete. And you're done. Your asexual flag and spite look is now complete. So this concludes my asexual flag makeup tutorial. I'll see you when I do the eighth and final flag.